This is New York Nightly News with Chuck Scarborough, live on New York Nonstop. New guidelines today about whooping cough. A federal advisory panel is now recommending that everybody over the age of 65 get a vaccination. Officials believe that whooping cough is underreported in older adults, and the panel is hoping to keep those adults from spreading the disease to infants who are more vulnerable. The government's expected to formally adopt that new guideline. A new vaccine has been approved by the FDA to prevent pneumonia in adults, but another government agency needs to act to make it possible for that vaccine to be made available. Here to tell us more about that is Seth Ginsburg. He is the president and co-founder of the Global Healthy Living Foundation. Seth, welcome aboard here. It's good to be here. Tell me how serious a problem pneumonia is. Very, in this extremely serious. 300,000 people are hospitalized every year. It causes 40 to 70,000 deaths, pneumococcal pneumonia and accounts for tremendous costs to the healthcare system and a burden to our society, of course. Have you put a figure on those costs of the healthcare system of all these hospitalizations from pneumonia infections? It's expensive just to look at a hospital. Yeah. So when you consider 40,000 uh, 40, people are, are, are dying yeah. every year in the hospital, 12% uh, of people who go into the hospital don't come out, or when they do, it's through the basement, and it, it's a tremendous burden. So. How effective is the new vaccine in preventing pneumonia? Very. So we now have FDA approval for two vaccines, uh -huh. uh, Prevnar as well as Pneumovax. And uh, they're deemed safe and effective, and uh, they're currently available and in use for people over 65. And the problem is it's the younger of our older generation from mm -hmm. 50 to 65, 42 million Americans who could benefit from this vaccination who are being denied access to it because of this advisory committee on immunization mm -hmm. practices. Well, it would seem that if you could prevent a lot of those hospitalizations, you would save the health care system an awful lot of money. This would seem to be a no-brainer. Why is the committee responsible for approving this dragging its feet? <laughs> I wish I had answers for why the government acts in the way it does. Uh, but at the Global Healthy Living Foundation, we're all about improving health outcomes, lowering health care costs, uh -huh. and helping people overcome barriers to care. And in our opinion, those 42 million people between the ages of 50 and 65 could benefit from this, and society could ultimately do better as a result. This is curious. I want to bear down this a little bit because this is the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. This has to give a thumbs up before insurance will cover this. Right? Not only insurance, but Medicare and Medicaid. Private insurance, uh, the ones you know that, that uh -huh. uh, my company, your company uh, provides us with, take their cues from Medicare and Medicaid. And it's this advisory committee that basically justifies what can or can't, what is or isn't covered. And this committee was meeting. You were hoping tomorrow to get a thumbs up on this, but they meet, what, three times a year or something like that? Right. The next meeting isn't until June. And we're concerned because we were expecting a thumbs up. We were hoping for a thumbs up on behalf of these 42 million Americans. And as a result, it's been punted down the field. Yeah, oh, that's uh, a bit of a mystery. I have to agree with you there, and uh, we'll, we'll check back in June and we'll see what they do. And, you know, folks who are interested in this and who want to learn more on behalf of themselves and their, their parents and friends and family can go to ghlf.org. Of course, our Twitter, ghlf.org, uh, for an up-to-the-date, up-to-the-minute information uh, about uh, this situation. All right, Seth Ginsburg, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it.